write 0 minus 26 minus 9 as a linear combination of 5, 3, 7 and 2 minus 4, 1. Show that 1, 3, 5 cannot be written as a linear combination of these two vectors. Well, in order to do the problem, I need to know what linear combination means. A linear combination of some vectors is what you get when you add together multiples of the various vectors. So what I would like to do is write 0 minus 26 minus 9 like this. I want to write 0 minus 26 minus 9 as a times 5, 3, 7 plus b times 2 minus 4, 1. Okay, well, let's see if I can figure that out. Well, I suppose this would be equal to 5a, 3a, 7a, and this would be equal to 2b minus 4b, b, and if I add to them together, I should get 5a plus 2b, 3a minus 4b, 7a plus b. And each of those must be equal to the coordinates of 0 minus 26 minus 9. So I get, well, these three equations. 5a plus 2b is 0. 3a minus 4b is minus 26 and 7a plus b is minus 9. And I know how to solve three equations in two unknowns. I put them in a matrix and I do row operations. So let me put them in a matrix. That would be 5, 2, 0, 3, minus 4, minus 26, 7, 1, minus 9, like that. Now if I have a look at these, I can see that this is this vector, and this is this vector, and this is this vector. So next time I want to see if something is a linear combination of some other vectors, I'll put the answer I want in the answers column of my matrix, and the other vectors as the other columns of my matrix. And that'll actually solve my problem, as long as I can row reduce this. So I'll go back to row reducing it. I'll need a new page for that, because I haven't got enough space here. So, 5, 2, 0, 3, minus 4, minus 26, 7, 1, minus 9. Okay, so I would like there to be the first column of the identity here. and the second column of the identity here. So I'd like there to be a 1 in this position and zeros below, and a 1 in this position and zeros above and below. And I've already got a 1 here, so I think I might do the second column first. So if I swap rows 2 and row 3, I'll get a 1 into the correct spot. So my new row 2 and row 3 is my old row 3 and row 2. And so I haven't changed row 1, and I can do 7, 1, minus 9, 3, minus 4, minus 26 here. Okay, so now I've got a 1 in the correct spot. I've got a 1 here. I need zeros above and below it, so I'll add and subtract the appropriate multiples of that row. So my new row 1 is row 1 minus 2 of row 2. 
and my new row 3 will be row 3 plus 4 of row 2. So I haven't changed row 2. So 5 minus 2 times 7 would be 5 minus 14, which would be minus 9. 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0. 0 minus 2 times minus 9 would be plus 18. And at the bottom row, 3 plus 4 times 7 would be 3 plus 28, which would be 31. Minus 4 plus 4 times 1 is 0. And minus 26 plus 4 times 9 would be minus 62. Okay, so I've got my second of column of the identity exactly where I want it. Now I want the first column of the identity here, which means I want a 1 here. So I'll divide by minus 9 to produce my 1. So my new row 1 is minus a ninth of my old row 1. So I haven't changed these two rows. Divide by minus 9 gives me that. OK. And now I want zeros below that 1. So my new row 2 is row 2 minus 7 of row 1. And my new row 3 is row 3 minus 31 of row 1. I haven't changed row 1. 7 minus 7 times 1 is 0. 1 minus 7 times 0 is 1. Minus 9 minus 7 times minus 2 would be minus 9 plus 14, which would be 5. And 31 minus 31 times 1 is 0. That stays 0. Minus 62 minus 31 times minus 2 would be 0 as well. OK, so that tells me that in my original equation, A is minus 2 and B is 5. So let me write that down. So 0 minus 26 minus 9 is minus 2 times 537 plus 5 times 2 minus 4, 1. Well, there was another part. Show 1, 3, 5 cannot be written as a linear combination of these two vectors. So let me do the same thing. So I want to write 1, 3, 5 as A times 5, 3, 7 plus B times 2, minus 4, 1. And I can just put them straight into the matrix this time because I know how that works. So we get 5, 3, 7, 2, minus 4, 1 and 1, 3, 5. Right, well, the thing is, this left-hand side of the matrix is the same as it was before. And since it's the left-hand side of the matrix that does my row operations, it tells me what row operations to do, I'll be doing the same row operations as I did before. So all I have to do is do those row operations on the answers part. Okay. So let me write down all the row operations I need to do and do them on the answers part. So what I've done for you is I've copied in all the bits that aren't going to change. I've copied in all of this side of the matrix and all the row operations because they're the same for this problem. Now all I need to do is figure out what goes here. So I just need to do those row operations on the 1, 3, 5. So let's see. My new row 2 and row 3 is my old row 3 and row 2, so that gives me 1, 5, 3. 
my new row 1 is row 1 minus 2 of row 2. So 1 minus 2 times 5 is minus 9. Haven't changed this one. My new row 3 is row 3 plus 4 of row 2. So that would be 23. My new row 1 is minus a ninth of row 1. So that would give me a plus 1 here. And my new row 2 is row 2 minus 7 of row 1. So that's 5 minus 7, so that's minus 2. And my new row 3 is row 3 minus 31 of row 1. So 23 minus 31 would be minus 8. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. Well, this would be telling me that A is 1 and B is minus 2, but it also tells me that 0 plus 0 is minus 8, which is clearly wrong, and so therefore I've got no solutions for A and B. No solutions for A and B. Therefore, 1, 3, 5 is not a linear combination of 5, 3, 7 and 2, minus 4, 1. And that's the end.